I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So, if, as we look into science, into microscopes, we see how it gets smaller and uh, it keeps going, it keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And then we see this pattern, this Fibonacci sequence of how things compound in nature and they kind of like uh, cause these spirals. Uh, which cause shape as we know it. So everything's moving in a straight line that's bending. Um, and, and it's always this same pattern of behavior, probably because the galaxy is spinning. So it's twisting everything. But anyway, our nature of reality is this spiral that can be calculated. So you see that as you look into space. And you see it as you, as you look out of space, however you want to look at it, into, out of. But out into space, into space. But into space is also out into space. So I don't know, man. See? See? We're looking into a mirror. This is how it all is not worth even getting confused about because the nature of reality is duality in a sense if you're looking at it from that perspective. So acknowledging that it's infinitely repetitive in both directions and that we're just somewhere along that chain, everything you're doing is being done to you on different scales and maybe even the same scale who knows depends on how coincidental things seem at that moment well, basically what I'm thinking is that we have so much more control over reality than it seems in that our internal behavior is directly affecting external behavior because it's a system of vibration that is interconnected like a web of infinitely dense matter particles. You know, the words at that point, it's just science kind of like with building blocks. But, you know, the building blocks are still big blocks of stuff. Like, what really gets me is tardigrades are these little animals. They're like a millimeter in length. And they're like bears with eight legs, eight, eight arms and legs, however you want to look at it. They have eight hands. And uh, they, take them, they can live in space for like days. And they get them out of deep freeze for 30, after 30 days. I'm sorry, 30 years in deep freeze and they're still alive. After 30 years they revived these tardigrades and they survived. So humans are experimenting on these tardigrades. They, took, they take them into space, like outside on the spacecraft, and they survive, you know. So, and uh, I'm thinking if, if humans do that to other animals, like we experiment on all the animals, pretty much, we've experimented on them in some way. If we can, you know, that's, that's kind of human, has been human behavior. So that's probably what's happening to us. That makes me think that on a level of the universe, something is aware of us and watching us. So it gives us a sense of responsibility to behave in a way that's good for everything. 